and to reflect on Jung. I mean, because of the, well, not because, but. So I haven't read that much Jung about the self, but he does say that the self has complexes from false teachings in childhood and those. Yeah. Those get in the way of the unity of the. Truth any more than no, no. And you go from that to water. I keep using the word unity. Yeah. Not a little detail of money, but that much. You mean that the many become here take on a oneness. Why do you understand to I think it to the self or to the one. Oh, really? And that's gone well. Okay. Well, I think that's his language. I think that's his language. That he says it becomes unified. That's its ideal state. What does it mean? That means there's a certain order. There's a certain order to the parts. And a certain harmony so amongst you, the parts. You, yeah, then if you attribute this idea of order to the self, it must have parts. Right. And there must be a problem in the parts until they're harmonized. What do you think of what we've come to? By that I mean, do you see the self as having parts that need to be brought into a permit so that you can say it? Well, I was trying to represent Jung's idea of the self. I don't care wherever you got the idea. Okay. What are the functional parts of the self? Well, you know how Jung talks about the rational or the intuitive, the feeling and the thinking parts? So some people may not have their feeling part functioning fully because of some false belief, some complex from childhood that... Um, so yeah. Wait a minute. Looks like you're saying that while Jung uses the word self, he means mind, since all the things you just mentioned are the ways in which the mind functions. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thinking, feeling, intuition, sensation. So far, it doesn't like he looks like he doesn't need the idea of self, does it? Seems like he uses soul synonymously with self. That it's a whole soul, soul, soul. I think so. Okay. Sure. So then we have. <clears throat> 
now that we dropped out the word self, we put in the word soul. Well, either one. But I don't think he uses mind. Regardless of whether oh. that's true or not, you can uh -huh. still reason about it, can't you? Oh, yeah. I mean, he uses the word mind, but that's not synonymous with self. That's right. Mind. So it looks like you might say, uh, uh, <laughs> Oh, he was trying to hide or something. Yeah. What a yeah. playful guy. So it's a great theory. He's for gone. Soul or no, mind, he loves no you. Self. Soul or self, but no mind. Well, you're introducing another word, soul, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. According to Young, I think Young. I don't care who says it, represent okay. it if that's the way you want to think. Of. That's not how I want to think. But did you think that way, truly? That's what you're talking about. Huh? No, I wouldn't try to okay. represent the soul okay, myself. Okay. I don't mind that. If you don't want to think according to this gentleman, Young. Yeah. Okay, so put it aside, and now what do you think about the idea of the unity of the soul? Okay, well, I think when the, oh man, um, I mean, I like his theory. I, I mean, I, I, I like his theory. I don't know if it's correct, but. Um, are you bringing him back again? Well, yeah. Okay, then think in terms of Carl Jung. <laughs> if you want my theory on the self, I yeah, wouldn't. I would appreciate that. Hmm, I don't know what my theory is. <laughs> then how do you know you have a theory? Of it? Okay. I don't. Oh. I have a theory. Um. Yeah. But you're sure you have one. A self. have a mind and it seems to be yeah I guess I have a self I, I have a self yeah oh now you got it back <laughs> okay what do you mean liquor it's a mm -hmm. simple question Are you also aware of this thing called the self, or not? Well, um... Sometimes I'm aware of what's not... What's not...
itself is that thing is that uh, which in fact what you just said is that's real would, would that be a good thing to hold on to to express what you think I do believe a short while ago you said the self is like the inner voice the dang did you not no, you I, said, said, you I said that's that part of the self that is the self functioning Oh. The demo. Oh. But that's not the cell phone. No. That's how it functions. Well. Um. Yeah, that's how it functions. Well, I'm glad to hear that. What is the self then? Now that we know how it it's functions. The self is. Like your true nature, your your nature. It's your relation or creation. Nature, the true your nature. nature. Yeah, your true your nature. So, so the self has a nature. The self is your nature. Well, I'm sure glad of that. By the way, is the nature of something the way it functions? Can be. Can be. Okay. I mean... If so, then you don't have to self again. You have the way it functions. Oh, are you looking for a structure? A self-structure? Um, Well, it's not always doing something. It can just be sitting okay, around. Okay, then, then the self is something <clears throat> that uh, comes and goes. Well, no, it, it's always there, but it's not always oh, when doing or talking. It's always there. Sometimes it's just silent. Oh. And you don't know it's Wait a minute. there, maybe. Silent. When it's not silent, is then speaking, or those are the voices. Yeah, could, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I still function then. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so we s still have to help me understand what you mean by self. Hmm. Hmm. But you're sure you have one? Well... I mean, I don't really know the difference between the self and the soul, so I don't want to misrepresent the soul or the self, so I don't know. I can help you, Julie. Oh, really? The soul? Well, then we can drop them both out if you don't know. Well, he's got an idea, Jeff. The soul well, has I'm parts. Sure, but... Well, the soul has parts. There you go. What? Well, the soul has parts. Yeah. And last night we were saying the the self was had no marks, so that can't be part. So I was helping you. Oh. Uh, well, could the self be a part with no marks? A markless part? A no. Markless part? No. No. Because then it would have. Well, part so of, in order to be a part. Part of, part of what? Yeah. It has to have a relationship to some other thing, right? At the very least, that that whole of which it is a part. Mm -hmm. And it would seem like, what's your thought? That looks like a mark to me. It has a name, part, beyond it has its own a name. name. Yeah, and a relationship to another. Um, 
Yeah, I would say it has a relationship to the mind. Glad to hear it. It doesn't tell us about the self. It tells us that it's got a certain relationship with something. Yeah. Yeah, so. That's I, more I, function. Yeah. I want to start saying what it's like. It's like. Oh, that's wonderful. What is it like? It's like some kind of a weather vane or something. It can tell which way the wind is blowing. <laughs> you know? Function. Function, yeah. yeah. That, that's all I can think of as function. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Say. What does it do to you to go through this dialogue? Right now? Yeah, just... It, yeah. I feel like I'm being pushed to say something about which I don't know anything. So it's making me feel kind of... What is that feeling? It's... um. I don't know, it's a weird feeling. Um, I feel like I'm totally being phony. Mm, good. Mm. If, since you cannot well, finish it. Since I cannot... Um, I guess since I cannot just say I don't know and stop. discover is a way to know it and you haven't figured that out so you can say I do not know all right yeah there is yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but if there was a way to know it then you could decide either to do it or not to do it but, right well I could yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So at least one thing we can agree upon. What's that? That it looks like there should be a way to know it. Yeah. Yeah. And all we have to do is figure out a way to do it, then we'll be able to talk about it. Right? Okay. Is that likely? I think so. I Look, think I, smells like it. I think I, you know, if I made a concerted effort I, and dedicated all my time to it, I could sit down and figure it out. Well, would it, well, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Then why don't you? Oh, because you have other things to do that are more important. Yeah. 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 But in principle, it should be knowable and there should be a way to know it. And if I didn't know it, I would be able to say why and in what way I don't know it. But instead, here I am just going blah, 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 blah. Yeah. 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 So all you need to do is where you're, when you're in whatever study you're in is look for those that can declare very clearly how to get to know the sound. Hmm. Now, I must admit, yeah. I can't help you. Why is that? 
Oh. I don't think there's a way to know that. Okay. Why not? <laughs> it's not an object of knowledge. Mm. <clears throat> why not? Yeah, why? And why are they say <laughs> thyself? <laughs> what? Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> yeah, why do they say know thyself? But I'm a soul. That's a mistake. <laughs> the don't got erased. <laughs> no, no. So, would you agree? Would that this assumes that we have one idea in mind that's very clear. There are objects of knowledge. Hmm. And this and the self is one of them. Um, that's our position. Right? True. Or I'm agree? Honest. Would like out of it, but well. <laughs> uh, uh, agree? Yeah. So when someone says that they're trying to do something to know the soul, it must mean that they already know what knowing is and they know what kinds of things you can know and what kinds of things you cannot know. True. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that part. What does that do? That brings up the question of what is knowing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 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 what is that for? Well, it makes me think of how to get there. If I, like taking a journey, if you've got a map, then you know how to get there. So yeah, I think if you, I studied... Yeah, but you first want to make sure it's one of those objects that you can know. different kinds of things you can know. This must be among them. Agree? The self? Right, right, oh. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. if you know someone who's looking for a way to know, one thing they must already know, they must know in some way what it is to know anything and then apply that to the self. Right, right. Agree? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what do you know? Well, I know you've been studying philosophy a lot longer than I have. That, listen, and pointing out to very slow readers, you're p picking on me. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll, I'll help you again, Julie. Oh, good. You know English. Like, try to not read a sign on the road. Yeah. All right, that's a tough one. What about that know thyself? And Socrates saying he knew that he didn't know what he didn't know. Like, what he did. The only trouble with me is I have a very bad <laughs> as everybody knows. So you don't want to ask me about those things. About what was his name? Then? Socrates. No, no. See, I forgot his name. Then. <laughs> so look here. Yeah. Right. What have you heard among all things that might be knowable? I say might because there may be some question about it. Oh, to know, what to know. Mm. Did you say a mechanic knows mechanics? Yeah. See, I wouldn't say that at all. You wouldn't? No. No. Is that because you forgot? No, no, because I remember one thing. What's that? There that? should be a difference between knowing and understanding. Oh. And so if you understand... Like understanding, then you know how all the parts fit together, and you know they have a certain harmony, and 
right and if things are not in that kind of order you can put them back in the right order that's understanding okay yeah so understanding presumes that you know know the relationship of the parts no that's misusing the word okay no. So what is the mechanic? How does he understand? Well, uh, he knows the parts. He knows the parts. He knows how to fit the parts together. He knows how the parts fit together, okay. Right. He can recall them and use that recollection of it. If things are not in order, okay. he can find a way to put them back where the kind of order they should be in. So he knows the parts. Yeah. Okay, so... But if you ask him... What is it that drives the motor? It's a, that's not a difficult question. <laughs> Gasoline. What do you know? Mm, there's more to it than that. But at least it needs that. Uh, it, it could, yeah, so. Yeah. Would that be a good answer, or would he have to say, explain why combustion takes place? Yeah. <laughs> well, then he should be in a good position after fixing many cars and fixing the ignition system and all of that to give a talk about what it is about the nature of fire. Because that's combustion, is it not? Yeah. And not the spark it, and the not fuel. how it functions, but what it is. Is that likely? I don't think you'd have to go into fire. He just has to address the spark and the fuel and the release of energy. You don't want him to be the kind of person who understands and knows. I do. But not well, then with wouldn't he wouldn't he have to know what fire is? He would. Ultimately, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, is that what most mechanics know? Or are they are they sufficiently skilled just to stay on the level of understanding? Well, I like the understanding when it comes to fixing my car. I me too. don't want him to burn it up in a fire no, or no, no. show me yeah, how it burns up in a fire. So I think the understanding is higher than the knowledge. I don't know. It at least looks different anyhow. Yeah. Because it looks like he can fix cars without ever answering that question. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever known musicians? Yeah. Are they good at understanding how notes fit together into harmonies? Yeah. Do some of them uh, do it because uh, they like the result? The harmony that they hear? Yeah. Now, would they be the right person to ask uh, what is harmony? Not examples of it, but what it is. What it is. Oh, yeah. Huh? It would be. But and if they say, well, it's just something that produces beauty, would they then be naturally required to talk about what beauty is? Not required. Then they don't need to know what beauty is, even though they can then go ahead and make harmonious pieces of music and enjoy the hell out of it, but still they don't know They what do beauty know. Is. They do know, but they wouldn't have to talk about it at that point. Well, could they do what they do without knowing what beauty is? 
Hmm, without knowing what beauty. You mean understanding beauty? No, no. 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 Remember, understanding is knowing the notes and how they fit together and how oh, they fit into orders and how the orders fit together okay. into harmonies and how harmonies produce a certain impact. Yeah, they'd have to know beauty. Oh, do they? Yeah, of course. Good, good. Do you know anyone here who knows music? Could you keep I'm okay. talk about the nature of beauty? Probably she does. Well, go ahead and ask him what the beauty is. I'm kind of a beginner. He has more experience. That's <laughs> Jeff. Well, yeah, I can, well, I could give you like some descriptions out of the symposium and the, the Phaedo, but... I don't uh, know those things. Yeah, that's okay. No. I wasn't going to claim that I know beauty either. Yeah. So, oh, you know, so, oh, you know someone who wrote about it? I don't know him either. Is she like the mechanic then? No, wait, do you, would you disagree that you find harmony beautiful? Yeah, well, it depends. That wasn't the question, though. That's, That's her build-up to getting him to answer. Oh, sorry. Okay. So what do you think? Is, is, would that person be like the mechanic? Well, he's very discerning. I mean, he <laughs> says some harmonies do produce beauty, some don't, right? Yeah, yeah. but the question is, uh, would he be required to, to talk about the end, which is experience of beauty? Like the mechanic should talk about the nature of fire? <laughs> I'll... just talk to him about the nature of a good running car but um, that, I find that beautiful when my car starts <laughs> and it goes you avoided the it. question you know, that um, well no I don't think I have to engage these people in these discussions and these fundamental questions about what what they know do they know it or do they, yeah or do, do they know it but then ignore it while they do what they do and do well in what they do? Yeah. Yeah, means... Yes, they ignore it. Oh, they ignore it. While they're doing what they're doing. Oh, then they don't, and the way they function, they don't need to know what knowing is in respect to beauty and fire and these other things. Is that right? Yeah. They don't have to have it in mind. They don't have to be consciously thinking but, of but, it. But they do know it, but they're just yeah. not conscious of it? Yeah. Well, then the, you have a kind of knowing where that can come and go. Actually, the knowing is always there, but other things get in the way. Like maybe they have to go to the bathroom, and they're thinking about... Going to the bathroom <laughs> and holding on to what beauty is that don't fit together. <laughs> or they want a cup of coffee, or... They're wondering if they're going to finish this on time. I don't know. Um, they still know fire or beauty, but they know other what it is on their mind. They know what it is, or they experience it. They understand. We're looking for the word knowing. Okay, Remember what our goal good. was to try okay. to find out things that might be called objects of knowledge. Okay. I we we they, don't want to lose that. They know, they know how the notes fit together. Oh, pardon me, they understand how oh, the they know fit the together. Notes. Okay, so they understand a harmony. Yeah. And they understand harmony because they know. Uh, because they understand. What do they know? So, so far we haven't found it. Well. Look here. What? Have you ever met a mathematician? You know them? I've met one. You may even you may even have played within it yourself. Yeah. Would you agree the fundamental principle of, of mathematics is <laughs> you, uh, equal or equality? I mean, aren't they fooling around with equations all the time and then you look for what it equals? Yeah. No. no. Should they then talk about the nature of what equal is? 
Yeah. Big time. Yeah. Well, do you know anybody here that's been involved in optimized and can tell us what it is to know equal? I hope so. I would well, who would you pick in this room? Probably Josh. Oh, <laughs> Josh. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, Josh. What, what would Please. make you think I would have that knowledge? Because you're, like, right there in the heart of it, teaching mathematics. Oh, yeah. And equations. Like the all mechanic, day. right? All day equations. Oh, yeah. So is that chapter one of your lesson plan? Is My equality? first lesson is the real numbers. Oh, the, the real numbers, yes. not the unreal numbers. <laughs> yeah. Before we talk about equality. Yeah. And does he not give talks about the nature of equality? I guess that's the second talk you did. <laughs> Common Core, second lesson. Common Core? Yeah. Oh no. Actually, they're supposed to have covered that in fourth grade already. Fourth grade is when they do <laughs> equality. No, we don't talk about equality. No, you, we do you not then, talk about you equality. Then it is assumed that they already know it. Is, what equality is? No. I mean, it's just equivalency because that's a big distinction. I, did you say they can do mathematics without knowing what equality is? Oh. Sorry, I didn't hear your question. Oh. Yes, they can. Yes, Is they can. Is that similar then to the mechanic and the musician and now the mathematician? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In what way? Well, they can put the parts together to uh, understand. That's understanding? Yeah, yeah. Right, and they so, so, hey, you know what, we're, 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 we're in a mess because it looks like we know what things can be understood, but we still haven't reached what it is <laughs> that is knowing what objects are properly called knowing mm. or, or knowledgeable. Agree? Yeah. Uh, unless we mean uh, those things we just mentioned that they don't know. Like, would you think that beauty is, could be an object of knowledge? Uh-huh. Oh. Certain so mathematical be? proportions, for example? Oh, or harmonic proportions? What? You're back to understanding. Oh, oh, oh. Shoot. <clears throat> okay. Well, maybe you can know your understanding. No, no. You can no. understand your understanding. Hmm. Well, what do you mean by no again? That's what we're... Look, don't ask me. That's the question you're supposed to answer. I don't know. It seems like this is changing because originally... No. No? Okay. So what do you think, Bradley? Do you have any I think it's no, right on track. Originally, the question the was, self. can you know the can self? Know the self, okay. And we said, before you can do that, you should be able to know what kinds of things are knowable and right. then we can see if we can put the self in that class and then follow oh, okay. some general way in which anything can be known. Okay. Since there should be a general way of understanding. Right? Or a general way of knowing. Yeah, so we're doing pretty poorly. Yeah. Like we're getting close to understanding, understanding. We haven't got a damn good insight into what it is to know. So. How about, how's your coffee pretty good? Now, look here, for someone to answer that, they'd have to know what good is. That's a coffee. Okay, okay well, give it a shot. Let's see if right. you like it. And you put in the word pretty, which suggests beautiful. <laughs> so to be able to answer whether this coffee is beautiful and good, I would need to know both yeah. what beauty is and what good is. Okay, well, have at it. <laughs> but it may not, may not apply to the coffee. Yum. Uh, did you follow that or not? Yeah. Watch. In no way did I encounter beauty nor good. So I cannot judge whether this is a good cup of coffee that's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Good to know that. Yeah. 
So we're, we're stuck, right? It looks like it. The idea of self can be called one of the things that you can know. We're stuck because we don't know what kinds of things can be known. And if we did discover them, then we'd have to find a way in which knowing can take place. And we're stuck on that too. Shit. So we're not doing very well. What do you know? What do you know? It would have to be obvious. Wait, yeah. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you know? Would the person who's holding the position first be able to tell us why they think the self can be known? Because we are assuming that. Yeah. Yeah, well, well why don't you give us an answer to that? Then? What makes you think the self can be known and an object of knowledge? Well, for example, last night when... Uh, my memory is very bad. Oh, let me remind you. Go ahead. The Balboa's daughter was doing her dream and she said that she was afraid that some of her uh, experiences were um, she was afraid that some of her choices would not feel right for herself and she but she didn't want to give those up uh, and forego new learning so she had a sense of what would feel right for herself. Oh, then the self must have some feelings. Um, right? The self must get in certain things called feelings, and that way you know it is. No, I don't think the self has the feelings. Oh, the self her, doesn't have the feelings? Her mind is she, has the, well, herself. Not doing very well. I don't know if it's the self that has the feelings, but something something feels can detect what's right for the self. So but that would be function, wouldn't it? So the feeling is self is functioning in a certain way through feelings, and that's why it feels. So you can detect, yeah. Yeah, that's true. We're not getting a long way from what it is. Yeah, that's it's a step from, away, yeah. Well, what about dreams? I'm not against them. <laughs> that's where Plato said you can, one can know himself personally. So why, why uh, talk about a guy who didn't know English? Well, uh, right, point away. He was ignorant. He never knew English. <laughs> he was ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who doesn't know English is pretty dumb. That's right. Real idiot. They're morons. But okay. Hmm. So if we use dreams, then we'd say the self is the mind. No, yeah, it's okay to give it that name, uh, but I imagine you're going to say it functions to create dreams. Yeah, the self functions. That function, we said, it ain't a way to know the thing. Did we not? Difference between function and what a thing is. Well, the mind brings the dream to the self. But that doesn't tell us what the self is. The self is your nature. Your oh, it has a nature. You have a nature, and it's yourself. I mean, what kinds of things have a nature so I can make sure the self is in that group? Living things. Oh. What's the mark then of a thing's nature? Is it the way they function? I'm trying to survive. 
Yeah, that would be function. Yeah, that's gone. So back to we don't even know what knowing is. What kinds of things can worse be worse than that? We, we don't even. We're not even sure as to what objects can be called knowledgeable. Right. Or objects of knowledge. Right. Though we did mention three. <laughs> Equality, nature of fire, and beauty. Did we not? <laughs> yeah. Well, if you accept that, then why would you put the salt in that class? Yeah, it sounds like a wholly different ballgame. Yeah, so that ends that, then you can't know what it was. Totally different ball game, right? Well, what would you conclude if those are three examples of knowledge? And they don't. For you, they you don't put the self in there because there's there's nothing in that class that is like the self. Then we can give up on the idea that it's an object of knowledge, since in no way appears to be similar to anything in that class of knowable things. Right? I don't know. The nature of fire? Sounds kind of like could be like the self. It's pretty Funny. what's the nature of fire? Remember we weren't going to use what it's like unless we know what it is. And the nature of beauty? If you were to say, the self is the nature of beauty, that means there's something about beauty we know that matches the idea of beauty. Right. Do we have that before us so we can use it and answer it that way? No. 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 Um, well, it looks like so far that we have, we may have a group of things we're willing to call objects of knowledge, but you wouldn't put the self in there. If that's the case, then it looks like up to this point we're wondering whether or not you can put the idea of self in the class of knowable things. And therefore you don't have to worry about finding a way to know it because it doesn't fit in the class of knowing knowable things, that's all. Do you think the nature of beauty is unknowable? Is knowable? Yeah. Yeah. I heard a discussion a short, short while ago that seemed to come to that kind of conclusion. You mean my comments about proportion? Well, that we, that we came to. I'm willing to review that, by the way, if you think it's necessary. <laughs> I think Barbara needs to know. <laughs> I, think we, I think we need to turn back and take another direction. Well, you see, you had a very important position that, damn it, the self should be knowable and therefore there should be a way to know it. But it looks like we don't we don't think it's in the class of knowable things. That's what we do. Try to find a way to know it if you can't use the idea of knowing something to fit in and apply it to the self. And a hell of a mess. Or we're right, and I shouldn't say it, we're in a hell of a mess. but rather congratulate ourselves in coming into a good conclusion. Which which way do you go of those two? Oh. I don't know. I, I think... Yeah, yeah you did almost, it again. Yeah, I did it again. You did it again. It looks like you may not know what knowing is, but you know what it is not. I don't know. Yeah, I don't just know said, what yeah, knowing so is. that's easy. Well, mm. that's just a colloquial way of talking, you don't mean it. 
I must know what knowing is if I don't know that. Yeah, I know. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. If I know that I don't know it, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, how embarrassing is that? Yeah. Well, I think I should just stop talking now and rest. Oh, you've been doing great, by the way. Oh. Just, I don't clap during dialogues. Like, bravo. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll cheer for you or something. I'll cheer, okay. Yeah. But I said don't stop. Don't stop. Well, I mean, what are we gonna do? We we gotta know thyself. How are we gonna even begin that? We don't know it. No, yeah, if it's not an object of knowledge, it's pretty foolish. Well, we don't know. It might be. Yeah. We, but don't, we know. don't know about the mind. <laughs> about the may, it may be, <laughs> or it can be, or it could be, or should be. No, but we're pretty convinced, though, one thing is, going back to it, we really do think there should be a way to know the self. It's yeah. just that we're fooling around and we can't find it. Yeah, no, Thyself. Yeah. 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 But again, would it ever be worthwhile knowing whether or not that assumption is true or not? Because it looked like, upon our little discussion, it seems not possible to know it, if it's not an object of knowing. Well, we don't know that yet. We, don't, we haven't explored what knowledge is to know yet. We've got three... By the way, if we have three examples and it looked like they might pass for the objects of knowledge, then we can say we have some idea of what knowledge is and what knowing is. Well, what do they have in common, those three examples? Because maybe we could see them. What do they have in common? Well, yeah. they would each be an answer of what it is. The nature of fire? And the nature of beauty and the nature of equality. You know, I'm not even sure. Um, equality, nature of equality. That's not what equation. Well, it's more like equivalent, huh? Got an equal sign. I know it's got an equal sign. I think that's bogus. Down with equal signs. But what will happen to all the equations if you knock out the equal sign? Right. I think what they should become equivalent signs. A synonym signs of, won't help. What? A synonym? Yeah, same thing. <laughs> No. The equivalent is a word that has built within it the word equal. Well, sort of, but I no, mean, if two things are of. equal, they the are each other. Equivalent has oh, the word right. equal within it. Well, it's got equiv, equi, equi. Like equivocate? Like equivocate, equiv, equi. It's got equi. <laughs> equal valence. <laughs> It's a, you know, one of those chemistry deals. How would you like Pierre's description of what those three objects of knowledge had in common? The nature of beauty, the nature of, of equal, and the nature of fire. How would you like, what do you remember it? his description? No. Uh -huh. Well, he said they would all be answers to the question, what is it? Or they could all be answered. They were all answers to the question, what is it? What is beauty? It, what is the nature of beauty? Beauty. But there is, an, there is a beauty there. So I wondered why you didn't take that and say, Hark! Self! I can ask, what is the nature of self? And I can know it because I can then say, what is it? And get an answer. Well, I guess I missed that. I must have a blind spot there. Or that's what well, I had a blind spot. When he gave that as an answer, I went, 
What? So, how do those answer what is knowledge? Say it again. <laughs> no, 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 that's yours. That was your answer. What do they have in common? Their answers to the question, what is it? And she's asking you about that. I, I confess myself astonished by such an answer. They're all examples of knowledge? No. Okay. And therefore, they must have something in common. And I said that makes they, them they, they would reveal what it is. What it is. So the nature of beauty would reveal what beauty is. The nature of fire would reveal what fire is. And the third one I have to remember. Equal. Oh, the nature of equality would reveal what it is. So the nature of the self would reveal what it is. Okay. Remember, and you said you wouldn't put the idea of self in that group. So we said, well, then it doesn't fit in the class of things that you call knowable. And I went along and agreed with you. If it doesn't fit. I would say it fits. The nature of the self reveals what it is. I would say, yeah. I mean, you're changing the subject. I don't mind it answering another one that oh, okay. I never asked though. Wait. Did we not come to the idea that among the class of things that we're willing to call knowable, yeah. that you said you would not put the idea of the self in that class? Yes or no? I said you, you could. You said you wouldn't. Pardon me. I don't mind which of us, but at okay. the, but I think it is knowable. Didn't know your question is does it fit in that class? Like the nature of beauty? Yeah. That uh, the nature of beauty will reveal itself. That's why it's knowable. Is that what? The nature of beauty is knowable because it will reveal itself? Well, you might ask, so what is revealed, if you wanted to ask any further? Beauty. You could put the self in there. That sounds easy. The nature of the self is Thank knowable. You're trying to put the idea of the self in a class of things that looks like we can understand fit together into a class of knowable things. Mm -hmm. But if we don't know what the self is, how do we know whether it fits in that class or not? Right. But your reasoning, no, 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 it should be knowable. <laughs> There should be a way to know it. But then we were asking, shouldn't you try to figure out why you came to that idea that it should be knowable? Like what would follow if it turned out that you're right, it's not knowable. Well, maybe it's understandable. Maybe it's got parts. Oh, no, a good way to answer that would oh. be, well, if it's not knowable, it sure as hell saved me trying to look for a way to know it. Uh, uh, I would have tried anyway. It wouldn't have saved me from trying. Because you're still going to look for a way to know it. Yeah. See, so that belief yeah. is governing your thinking. Yeah. Right. Now that's why we're challenging it by all of these questions. Hmm. Because it looks like it may be a fair conclusion that so far you haven't found any way to show that the self is knowable. Therefore, why look for a way to know it? And your your answer is, 
I don't give a damn. I still think it ought to be knowable and one should continually look for a way to know it. Right? Well, only because I have an idea of what it means to know. And perhaps if I were to further explore what knowledge is, then I would decide no. But so, doesn't that mean you still have to be able to say something about this thing called the self in order to see whether it fits into the class of knowable things? Yeah. But so far we have no idea about what the self so, is. So how do we know it even fits into a class of knowable things or not if we don't know what it is? Okay, I would say the self is that part of you that it's that like... No, no, it wouldn't be that because so far we haven't found out. Yeah, go ahead, we try. Well, it's that part of you that is available to know. But that's telling me what it does, not what it is available to you to know. Yeah. Well, that's not telling me what it is. It tells me how it <coughs> functions. It should be available oh. to know. What it is. It's your nature. Look here. Perhaps you should have another, another beginning. I'll suggest one. Okay. Since I don't have any idea of what the self is, why should I even trouble myself to try to know what it is? You're actually going to say that? No, yeah, try it. What Since it? I don't know what the self is, why am I going to trouble myself? So no. I don't think I would use those two sports in the same sense. <laughs> still say, no, I can't say that because I really want to know the self. Well, if I knew that I was troubling the self, myself, I would say I have an idea of what the self is. If I know it could get trouble. And that the idea I have of the self better be something that you can know. Maybe not. Maybe no is not the right word. Maybe just be familiar with. Oh, but that's a low level of acquaintanceship. Yeah. Low level of what? Of, of acquaintanceship well, or, or relating. Well, you take what you can get. Yeah, because that ain't very good. Yeah. Familiar with. Yeah. Uh, well... I don't know. Uh, I remember a time when I started to become more aware of myself at, in different situations. And I was aware that, like today even happened, right? I, I did something and then I decided, you know what? I'm not comfortable with this. This goes against my thinking and my and so at that moment I thought I was kind of comparing myself and what I wanted with what was uncomfortable so um, see we would want to know what is it you're pointing to when you're using the word self in the story that you just gave? Right. It's my goals. My part, in part, it's my goals and how I want to spend my time. And so you're saying at that time I gained a, a more insight into what it was that I am, which is the self. We would be interested in you knowing in that experience. What was it about that experience that led you to believe you're getting in that experience closer to the idea of the self? 
well, you know, it's a feeling. It was a feeling that this just didn't feel right. And so it You're didn't... attributing that state to the idea of self. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm not attributing the state to the self. I'm saying that as I compared what I was doing with what the self would rather be doing, then I got into, well, that comparative state I was in. I was comparing what I was doing with what myself, I thought myself would be. I wonder why you had that child. Because it's what I know about myself. It's what I know, it's what I'm familiar with about me. And what my nature is. See, what's nice about that state is that you're not doing something to know it. Right, no. Well, then all this search, known. then all this search for looking for a way to know it is foolish. You found a way to come to some glimpse of it by being in a certain state. You weren't yes. practicing any particular way of being that brought that state on. It was a realization of something. Yeah, the state was a heads up that something was amiss. Something was not right. Then I was able to compare what I was doing with what myself would want. And I said, that's not me. And we we're wondering whether at that very moment, what led you to believe that the proper word to use would be the word self rather than soul or mind or other any other, any other term. Mm. Well, in my mind I didn't even think of self, I thought of just me. What's this isn't me. This isn't what I want. But it was in reference to you know, the self, not the soul. Um no criticism of what you're saying. Right. right. You're saying at that moment it looks like, as you said before, I get closer to the idea of self, and that's what I was experiencing. You've now said, hey, you know what's interesting about it? It was a sense of like being able to make a judgment, and I saw I was better. So I'm not that better than went back to saying, gee, I like being in that better state, and that better state looks like it's moving towards the idea of self. But so you're saying it looks like one of the early marks of it might be when you're able to know what's right for you. Uh -huh. or at least what's wrong, what's not right for me. You also came to the other side as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, That's true, there's both. Now, yeah. Talking this way than the way you were talking before. Well, so now I'm talking about the experience I had. And I'm able to actually refer to something. Now before that, you were... Speculating. Speculating. Right. And now you're talking out of your experience. Right. right. Which seems more real to you? Well, the experience. Uh -huh. But, yeah. See, so at that moment, seeing that, you'd like to know what it was like. You said, I'm, uh -huh. I'm right. That's getting me closer to the sun. 
Now, you oh, may yeah. not be able to. Oh, do, yeah. Yeah, you may not be able to do that, but that would be an interesting way of going. Well, remember that dream I had last week where I, under my breath, said, fuck you? Well, today I was able to do it with my breath out loud. I didn't do it under my breath. Yeah. I just said, fuck you. And then I just, it was loud. Yeah. So that was good. Yeah. And it looks like it's moving in the same direction that you want to call experiences of the summer. <laughs> Right, well, like in that last dream, it was, hey, this is our space, we're renting this, so it's uh, so it's a violation of what's mine. Yes, you see, Kwame, when you describe it, you talk about it negatively, don't you? Yeah, that's how I experience it, is a, that I'm, like I have to say, this is not me. And then, we, and then the second step is we I say. We are interested in knowing when you okay. said that is not me, whether or not that was an insight or not. You're not dealing with the content of it. We're saying it was an insight. What was the insight like? Okay. Well, prior to the insight, I thought uh, I was just being like difficult. But once I had, once I saw for myself that it was different from me and not what I wanted, not part of my self interest. Then I saw, okay, I have a I have a real reason here. I have some something behind my idea, my opinion. I'm not just being difficult or resisting the program. I'm I'm not in that program. It's all negative. Right. I appreciate that. Okay. I'd like to know if there's anything positive you could say about that state of insight. Okay. Yeah, it gave me the strength and the chutzpah to like. By the way, is that a consequence of the experience? Say fuck you a lot. Is that a consequence <laughs> of the experience? Or yes. Then I. That's good to know, but that didn't tell us about the experience of the inside of the uh, It was a consequence of the experience. That's different than the experience itself, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So while we might praise that, it's not helping us see that insight. You want to know about the insight where I saw that difference? You got it. about that insight. Not to talk about it in terms of its consequences or what it is not. But in any case, if it was in fact an experience of the self, you were not practicing any kind of yoga or any kind of psychology. Right. You landed in it without yeah. any method to reach the self. It became open to you. Right. That for your earlier point about looking for a way to know the self, oh, you can yeah. put aside and you can say, hey, in terms of my experience, I, I don't need that looking for a way to know the right. self. So, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. What does that do? Hey, that's it. It makes me want to have another cup of coffee and you can go to the next person. It's a good, good uh, discussion. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Or half a Thank you. Well, I mean, there are times when I'm in that situation and I don't. Uh oh, and I don't see myself. I don't make that comparison. Yeah, yeah. And I go along with the program, and yeah. later on, I'm angry under my breath. That's when you're in psychology. Right. Uh. One last thing. Oh. Just 
Supreme Being is a way to know the self. In spite of the fact that that didn't take place in your own experience. In your own experience, you are not cultivating a state to know the self, it just occurred. Well, you know, that dream I explored last week was... I don't know, I, my memory is very bad about things like that. The dream I had last week where the... I was renting that space and the guy took his time leaving and under my breath I said fuck you right well that's what played out today only now I was not saying it under my breath yeah. but that was the consequence that was the consequence so that means that I wasn't aware today that I was advancing in that regard, but um, after I said what I said, I realized, oh, I didn't say it under my breath today. No. Then I knew that I had advanced mm -hmm. in that regard. So I would say that I was more, I knew myself more since um, having that dream. See, the question we are on is whether or not you were following some discipline to get into that state of mind or not. Because it looks like from your story, yeah. you weren't following any deliberate plan, method. But you well, landed there because you were willing to look and see something. Well, actually, I think there was a, a plan, a principle. You want to know what it was? Or do you want me? No, I choked okay with man. Okay. So I, I had been invited to go <coughs> to this place with somebody. And um, I had agreed like a month ago. Well, so today when I went, first of all, as it got closer, I said, okay, I'm going to go in a separate car. I'll meet you there, okay? Because I, did, I didn't want to say I'm not going and disappoint the person. But I, I was busy, so I said, I'll, I'll meet you there because i got to do other stuff before and after. Um, and then... Um, Again, even though in principle I didn't want to go, and everything I considered, it was like, why am I going? There's no reason to go, but I went anyway. And then the person I was supposed to meet there was like 30 minutes late. And so I was able to get there and like scope out the joint. And then I realized I don't want to wait 30 minutes at this place with these people who I don't know, and I know it's gonna be no talking, and um, that's when I decided that the person's not there to meet me, so for myself, I don't wanna be here. And that's when I decided. I just kept driving and um you weren't practicing any particular yoga to get you to that state were you such as breathing reciting this or that no. right but you got there because you had to make a decision that was important to you so therefore you were not following a method to get into that no. state of insight no method except to Though you expected all along that there should be a method to get to know the self. Well, earlier From there what were we times. have been talking about, would you agree? 
I have done methods like yoga and found it helpful, or sitting meditation. I have found that helpful for tapping into myself. I would agree with that. But today, no, I wasn't. I was in my car just driving. Again, right. then you are not following a particular method to open up your mind to insight. You were following various kinds of things. Call them yoga or whatever you want to call them. Is that right? Yeah, nothing. Yeah. So your original statement about thinking that it was important to find a way to know the self doesn't yeah. look like in your experience that that's true. Since you're coming to insights yeah. that suggest something about the nature of the self that is not the result of following some method or yoga or true. meditation. That's true. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. That's why I asked you, going back, what do you think now of the idea that you started with that it's important for you to try to find a way to get to know the self? Since you've been successful in, in some degree at gaining insights into it without following a method. Well, I'm, I'm still all for dreaming and exploring my dreams. I think that's the way. To see the self, yes. to know the self. Okay. Did you get to know the self by having the dream? No. No. But rather. But rather. Exploring the dream. And understanding. And understanding. The dream. Is that right? And that may. And given, how it related to my mother. Yeah, it may have given you, therefore, an insight into the self. Right. So the key question is, how can you develop an insight? Um, hey. Well, actually, what I got an insight into was my pathologos, the way I was Thank functioning you. with Thank you. my so mother. That, all of our talk is good, except you're not getting an insight into the self, but right. rather dropping a path below those. Or the not self. Yeah. 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 Right. Which means again, finish it. Mm. That all you talk about gaining insights that gives you a greater insight into the self is actually getting a greater insight and taking apart your pathologos. Right. So then maybe later I'll have dreams actually about myself. But right now I'm still... The same thing would occur. Would you then get an insight in the dream about yourself or do you have to wait for a reflection on it to come to yeah. Yeah. Uh, insight about your pathologos. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. We can, however, still talk mm. about what is the nature of the insight that you get by seeing the falsehood of the pathologos. And whether or not that's moving in the direction of gaining an insight into the self is the second question. find this curious way of reasoning. What we've been doing. Yeah. Mm. Is it possible that you might get insights during this discussion? Mm-hmm.
you just did when you saw you weren't getting any insight into the self and into the pathologist, what was that like coming to that conclusion? Well, it was like, duh. <laughs> and I like that as a description. <laughs> I mean, it was obvious. I... Mm -hmm. But so then it makes me wonder what I, would, what I did this morning. If I, if I was referring back to that dream, saying that was myself. Um, again, it's in the negative. I have to say, well, I reflected on that and knew that that... Oh, okay, so I, I reflected on it and said, yeah, I'm not doing that pathologos kind of activity, so therefore it's an improvement, so it's more self-like or less unself-like, I guess, less mother But, yeah, you're right, it's not yeah. solved. Curious, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Aha, that's the man. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
if you ask the question, he's going to say yes. But is beauty the, an object of knowledge? Would that be something that he... How would you answer that? She's talking to you. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <coughs> what is knowledge? That too. Can knowledge be an object? is whether or not knowledge, this is a rather curious question, so if you can know what knowledge is, it looks like knowledge would be in the class of things that are knowable. Knowledge would be knowable? Hmm. In order sure. to pursue this discussion. Okay. If you or anyone wants to say that you can know what knowledge is, it looks like you'd be able to put the word knowledge and what it means in a class of knowable things. Mm-hmm, yeah. Right? Uh-huh. And the question is, uh, what, what way of reasoning would show you that that's possible? that you'd have to line up the things that you're willing to say are knowable and see whether you can stick in that class the word knowledge. But we couldn't do that if we don't know in advance what knowledge is and therefore what would be knowable. But what would be knowing, that's just, you wouldn't ask that. <laughs> So you probably didn't mean that last phrase. I just... I you, mean, dropped, when, you just dropped in that last phrase and you didn't mean it, I presume. No, I meant it. Oh, what did you mean then? Let me, let me hear it again. We would need to know what... We would need to know... That's it. See, we'd have to know what knowledge is in order to judge. Um, just what is knowledge? If knowledge can be an object of knowledge, if we can know what knowledge is, we already know. We already know what knowledge is if we can even ask that question. But we're back again to negatives. Isn't that what you just introduced? From what you just said? Well, I mean, I said, if you want to know what knowledge is, then you already know what knowledge is. To ask that question. But what is it? That's the question. What is knowledge? Yeah. Yeah, good question. Want an answer? Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. Wisdom. Oh. <laughs> Shoot. That's all. What? That's all. Well, some things are adequate and some things are not adequate. Okay, so what's wisdom? What do you want to change the subject for? You want another one now? <laughs> Okay, now, wisdom is an Did I answer your question and how you balk at my answer? And well, I'm wondering, is that, are you saying wisdom is an example of knowledge or they're synonymous? Same. Do you like this question you're now posing? What is knowledge? What is wisdom? <laughs> Do I like it? The question is, the question that you just raised is, and I asked you, do you like that question?
by the way, are you answering my question or are you giving me difficulties? No, I'm, I'm, I, I might be giving you difficulties, but to answer that it's something else is simply giving another name to it. I still have the question. So what is it? Surely the question was by you raising the question about the relation between knowledge and wisdom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in answer to that, what I find most interesting is that is the singular question about Plato's Theotetus. Because he says he gets very confused about what knowledge is. But if Theotetus and Theodorus had any uh, insight, they might have said, Socrates, let's forget about this question of knowledge. It appears that you're not wondering about what wisdom is, but that's the very question that I would really like to hear explored. So put aside the word of knowledge and go into what is wisdom. Mm -hmm. They say that to him? That's in the no, no, they didn't, I said. Oh. Mm. If they were alert, yeah. they should have asked that question mm. instead of allowing Socrates and them to go on exploring what is knowledge. So, I'm plotting. Ooh. So, I'm you know, scheming. Maybe you'll get into the theater. Or maybe you'll write another dialogue. <laughs> but okay, that sounds good. I'll... Because in the end, he gives three examples of knowledge that don't make any sense. Oh, great. <laughs> Just what I don't need. Therefore, he's confused about what knowledge is. <laughs> but not about wisdom. interesting state that you haven't been into for a long time. Yeah. What do you make of the fact you're now attentive and listening? And well, I have something to attend to. Right. And listen to. You're in it. Normally I don't. Right. So this is just... So you're in a good state through this. Yeah. Uh, are you getting closer to the soul? Maybe so. Mm. Mm. Or at least we're seeing through fiction. Yeah. Find well, that curious? Well, I find the wisdom and his knowledge. <laughs> I'll have to look at that one. Yeah. So what do you think? Think we wasted our time? Yeah, I think so. What do you think? No. Uh, well, look here, shall we ask Brad? Sure. No. We Would you agree between the two of you there is Barbara? Yeah. I think she's going to be in the well. Go ahead. <laughs> well, it's certainly interesting to see the hold that the belief has, a belief has. But since yesterday was kind of wisdom interruptus, <laughs> I would rather have heard a discourse on that than this one. So it kind of kept intruding. Wonder if it was different. She's central. Central to the, the prim the central to the Parmenides is the fact that the self is not an object of knowledge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Find that curious? Mm. 
I'd like to hear more. Is it because of the one? Mm. Well, he's well. Forget about the one. He says it doesn't even exist, and you can't even put a name on it, and you can't know it. So that's out the window. Oh, okay. The cell. I mean, you just asked about the one. So what does he say about the cell? Well, he says that's simple. Take everything you have about the idea of the one. Mm -hmm. You can say that about the song. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? Mm. Now look here. Just because Plato says it doesn't mean a damn thing. Ryan who cares about him? What do you think of the idea? Well, I still wonder what it is that is this core kind of compass that tells you when you're not going in the right direction or you're not... What, what is it that you can compare yourself to that tells you you're not being true to your I'm own integrity. I'm forgetting that you had an answer to this earlier in this discussion. Matter of fact, you started with that point. Yeah, I was saying that was myself. No, you didn't. That came later. You called it the daemon. I said that was an aspect of it. It had a voice. Of the demo. Uh, yeah, that told me, so. yeah. Yeah, just a reminder. Yeah. But the issue is, we're talking about the curious conclusion that we're in these things to. That was the yeah. issue. We don't yeah. want to get off on something else. Right. the dude thinks you can't be known Yeah. Well. Yeah. Just you'd be saying you, you can't put it in a class of knowable things, so it looks like, right? Greek, you know, never look at a Greek in the mouth, is that what they say? Or don't look at their eye tooth. Or the horse, I forget which one yeah. it is, because they might have false teeth. Right, and then go shopping and buy gifts. Right. Yeah. That's an interesting <laughs> question, why is it that it can't be knowable? Or what about it makes it not knowable? Why put know thyself on the Delphic Oracle then? Yeah. Why put know thyself on the Delphic Oracle then? You know, like. But he doesn't say know the self. Plato doesn't say that? The question is why does Delphic he have Oracle to use thyself? Why the honorific? Hmm. You find that self different than the one she's talking about? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Can't get them on that. One. No, no, I was just wondering then. Then that, that thyself is knowable. Well, if you're strict with, if you're strict with the charms, <clears throat> uh, you can't know the self. But whether you can know thyself is another issue. Oh, I'm interested in this. <laughs> okay, how how so? How so? It's a curious, right? How so? By what manner of ideas and meaning and, uh, and words should we travel yeah, through yeah. to see the difference between the terms? <laughs> I don't want to know that. Okay. And I think in this game, uh, the question is whether or not he follows an or not. 
It's the whole self that knows, the whole self that sees, the whole self that hears. That, that, either, that either can be confirmed or it cannot be <coughs> confirmed. Hmm. That's the puzzle. Okay. If it can be confirmed, it, it may not fit in the class of objects that are knowable. Again, that assumes you know what he means by objects that are known. Right. What Plato means by objects that are knowable? Or yes. Xenophanes? Yes. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Does, do objects... Oh, please, go ahead. Do objects that are knowable have the idea that there's a knower? What are they? That, that, is, that allows... There's a thing known and a knower that's different from the thing known. Is that one of the, the difficulties with the problem of knowledge? Yeah, you'd have to change the language and say that uh, it presupposes that there is an intellect that is intellecting something that is intelligible. Right, right. So, so that's, see, that's changing the language and putting it on, a, on another level. Well, that, I, yeah, so if you have an intellection of the self, you can have a complete intellection of the self and still not... Know the self. Know the self. Right. Okay, that's where I've kind of been hanging on to that the whole time. So. Yeah, because, because that description is the operation of Lucia. The, the description of the intellect? Knowing the intellect, intellecting the intelligible is a description of Usia. Right. Okay, I like that. But at But that's not right. That's only in uh, that kind of that kind of knowing cannot be attributed to the self in itself. Right. That's it. like, like that kind of knowing that that the self is, trans is Still, outside yeah, of the realm the, of Usia. The, the, you're right, going back. The question of the knower is not disclosed in an object called the intellect, intellect thing, the what, what is not disclosed? You said something was not disclosed in that process. Yes. You know, there were seven things going yes. on. What, what is that that's not disclosed? The, the self? subject. The subject. What do you mean by disclosed? Well, strictly speaking, the intellect intellecting, that's the news, newsing the intelligible. Right? Yeah. That experience is often called the brilliant light of being. <clears throat> In that state, one does not gain a knowledge of the self or the knower. That's, that's a difficult one. Is, one is absorbed in the experience of light, of luminosity. Okay, yeah. Which isn't a bad state, but it still doesn't resolve the question of... Yeah, but... Sec secondary question. <coughs> is that kind of state called wisdom? <coughs> the intellect, intellect, and the intelligible? I would say so. If so, then... The idea of the self is beyond wisdom. Yeah. If we can get clear about the state of the brilliant light of being and its relationship to the self, intellect, intellect, and the intelligible doesn't include the self. Does not reason. include the self. And because because it's not it, that process of self can't be separated from itself such that there could be that process going on. Well, because you can be totally engrossed in that state and there's no perception or knowledge or insight into the nature of what it is that is experiencing it. So, intellect, intellecting the intelligible still has the idea of something that experiences that whole thing. That's right. Which, which 
platonic terms, uh, but that's the self experiencing Ushua. The self experiencing mm. with your life. Okay. But that's why he then says it's the same. You can take out the word self and put in the word one. Okay. Because they are pairs. Mm -hmm. So the same thing applies to, the same thing applies to the self. Okay. Yeah, that was my problem with knowing the self. Yeah. Is that why you couldn't know it? Because there would be, no matter how close you get to knowing it, how profoundly you're involved in that process. Yeah, and you, to keep you're that in the process. language going, you're then elevating the idea of the self which justifies calling it thyself. Mm. Or just capital T, the self. Yeah. Mm. You don't like that? You like thyself better? Well, I thought he was trying. To, I thought he was trying to show us a way of distinguishing thyself from the okay. self, and yeah. you just. Well, he just did it. He just said that the self, thyself, is transcendent. Before he was saying yeah. that thyself was um, unique and individual. Well, didn't he say though the process of intellect, intellecting the intelligible, goes on and goes on and goes on and goes on, and right. one assumes what purifies. What is the what is the goes on adding to it such that we then can walk out of the realm of subject object and into the realm of transcendence? I don't see that yet. How you can get beyond the brilliant light of being? In the description that's yeah. being given here, uh -huh. exactly so. Even if it continues, right? Deeply even if it and continues, more profoundly. deeply and more profoundly. So, um, <laughs> what would you say, what you Um. I don't see the transition between the deepest, deepest, most profound act of brilliant Lucia light of as being. a brilliant light of being and touching the self, since the self is still experiencing that. The one self, of, we're talking about one self of the first hypothesis. Right? Yes. We're talking about the transition between the, into the self of the second into the self of the first. I guess so, not? since that's where Lucia is. That's where Lucia is, right? Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So we wanted to know what is there? Like, is are you saying that if intellect, intellecting the intelligible continues and deepens, that there is a point at which what that function that that function drops away and you are in the one self or you are the one self? That's the that's no. the question. Where is thyself in that? That's not. Yeah, it's not but in what? Yeah, keep with your words. Yeah, yeah. Right. In the brilliant light of experience, there is not a insight into the nature of the self. Right. I have no problem with that. But one can call it the self. What is the it we're calling the self at that point? Well, in a certain way, you can talk, talk about that as the self. You mean the self that is the whole? The brilliant light of being. You can call the brilliant light of being the self. But can you can call it that. Whether yeah. you should call it that or not is the issue. Oh, yeah. To separate that, right, the, the use of the word thyself <clears throat> means it's an ultimate term. Ultimate in what regard? Nothing higher. Nothing higher. Well then, doesn't it? Doesn't the conversation at this point revert back upon Josh's question of why know thyself is not, in fact, what's happening? There is not a knowing of thyself. Yeah, well, uh, <coughs> uh, I don't know if I put it well. I think. <coughs> uh, you have to be real cl close with language. Okay. Uh, when the Delphic Oracle says from Apollo, know thyself, mm -hmm. that is equivalent to there is something that is an ultimate term about which has no predicates. Mm. Okay, I can go with that. Period. Mm. 
then doesn't it revert upon David's But Christ? there's a use of the word self. There is a use of the word self <clears throat> that can be applied in the second hypothesis, though it should not be, which is why he makes the distinction between the two. Putting it in the realm of spiritual terms, thy soul. But, so, are you saying that if you continually practice reverting on the brilliant light of being, or if that comes about, whether it's practice or not, that it will deepen and there is, okay. It may deepen the experience. Without, without there being, without it being equivalent to the transcendence right. self. Right. Gotcha. Right. <laughs> Time to, uh oh. Is there a range in the Greek word no such that it can be seen as that contact or the terms you used about the, I don't want to say experience either, but the, um, I think you used co confirm or contact. Mm of the self, such that they did say, know thyself. I mean, what's the range of, of that word? Does it it's admit of a range? Such that it can yes express no. what we're saying. They didn't say, be the self, or I, I don't know, what, what other, okay, I'll just leave it there. Yeah, yes or no. So go for the no. Okay. In what way no, Pierre? Well, because uh, for the person who does not realize what the self is, they can experience states are similar to it. Ah. But it ain't the self. Hmm. Hmm. That's an interesting thing. So they might like think they were Plato going. uses the idea that the experience of beauty itself in the symposium, right? That the person, the experience of beauty itself is gaining an insight into touching truth. truth. See, that's a proxy, that's, mm -hmm. that's that movement towards it, mm -hmm. not truth. Mm -hmm but he gets a glimpse of it, so mm -hmm. it, in that sense it allows of degrees. But the only person who would know whether or not that is true is someone who would know the truth. Mm -hmm. There is also the fact that it's gnothi, right? And there's been some argument that sometimes with the word gnothi, seotan, that it's uh, the gnothi part, that it sometimes represents a higher, a higher kind of knowing that doesn't contain subject object mm -hmm. and is different from episteme which mm -hmm. does have subject but I don't know that where you would put it yeah. there's, there's mm -hmm. the, the process of knowing and then the completed act in, in some languages the, the, the term know in the present tense is a process but it also has a sense in the perfect where You've completed the knowledge, mm. and you're in it. Sorry, I think I should yeah, erase see, the tape on that. That was time. captured in uh, uh, Toho's response to Basuid. Mm. Okay. Right when he says, "Hey, you know, when you gave the answer to what is moon, you said, you know, mountains and trees, grass and hills yeah. are equally equally manifest move." Mm -hmm. He said, hey, your answer has traces of self-consciousness. Okay. Any, any, any division he, at all? He picked on the word manifest. Right. Right. Mm. Or equally. Right, so in that sense, he's approaching it. Mm. But there's a hell of a difference between the approach and landing right. there, because when he saw that that, in fact... Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. 
made him realize that that trace really meant he was in the realm of illusion. He busted wide open. Mm -hmm. So the, the idea that there can be grades or approaches appears to be true in many traditions. Yeah. With the clear realization that the trace ain't the real, and there's a hell of a difference between the trace and its reality. Yeah. What, when you talk, then when we conclude about know thyself, which is divine, the idea of knowing is not, if we're going to take the idea of intellect, intellecting intelligible as the highest level of, a, of knowing, where we have a, a knower, a knowing, and an object, then that would be what would be a, a copy or, or the hyparxis of that kind of knowing know thyself then takes on a different level or transcendent level it wouldn't be that you'd have to get out of that dynamic from what i hear you're saying or that do you want me to say triad. something do you want me to say something about whether you heard it correctly you ended by saying well you're saying, you're saying that's what you heard. Okay. Uh, yeah, that is true. That's what you heard. <laughs> what? Well, he uses the word "know thyself," and I and I'm. What would that "know thyself" be then? Given I mean, that you just gave a whole a whole answer, did you not? and then introduced a doubt about it. Well, given what I, we, I can ignore the doubt. I mean, we could put it in know thyself or oneself and use the first hypothesis as an answer to that. I'm not... Um, I'm not sure if that's the way to, to reason it. Okay, that's uh, true. You may not. But, or to confirm it, that. Well, I mean, instead of touching or ranges, it would be nice to confirm it, to know the truth, I guess. Or I don't know if you can even use that language. Um. So you're assessing, you're assessing your own thinking. And you're saying, I don't know whether you can do that. Yeah. It's your concluding remark. Yeah, that's true. That's what I did. Well, that, yeah, I can see that that's a good question. It doesn't require anything on my part. Well, what... what right? Right? You're making a statement about what you think. Actually, yeah, that's what you think. No. Well, what would be knowing? What would what would be knowing? What is knowing? What to know thyself? Then, is what? Pardon me. Mm. Did you not a few minutes ago address that and answer it? And in answering it, you raised a question about it. Whether it's oneself. Pardon me. What you said was, you reviewed the first hypothesis and you said, right, if this is equivalent to knowing thyself. Right. Did you not say that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, then you do have an answer. You're not, there is a, you have a, you're raising a doubt about it but not about whether or not that is being said in the work you're reading. Right. 
So if you have some difficulty about grasping that, can you point out the difficulty in agreeing with that idea? You're saying there's something about it I don't like. Well, what is it that you don't like about it? No, it's not that I don't like it. I, I uh, So you're giving an answer and then you're questioning the answer. And why does he say what he says while well, you know what he says? Well, it, it's in the discussion with Julie and the discussion with others, it's a discussion, but and we're reflecting on it, and we're discussing it and using language that we're familiar with. But behind it all is some something that I don't I don't see as true or not. I I hear it. I puzzle over it. I wonder about it. Yeah, there's I would no say, methods. I'd there's, say that's good. Yeah, uh, good. <laughs> all right. And maybe one day I'll <laughs> yeah, gain right. that truth that's or right. not gain yeah. it or. See, it doesn't require anything on me. Well, technically, no. Well, that technically <laughs> is a good answer. <laughs> but. <laughs> I mean, what else do you want an Indian? <laughs> well, except. <sighs> well, if if the if to know thyself is equivalent or is saying oneself, then one would. Sheena. Recall the first hypothesis. See now you're at, you see the way you're saying it is that your your voice suggests a question. I can ignore the voice and say, Yeah, that's right. Well yeah, obviously yeah. I don't know, so um Okay. It's the first hypothesis. Yeah. want to know thyself, know the first hypothesis. That's odd. But Strictly, and I'll ignore the poor language you're using in that expression. All right. What's the poor language? Know thyself. That, what's poor about it? Because that's what I was equivalent. It's not an object of knowledge. We're back to the same issue. Right. But I was indicating, I was thinking that if, if if know thyself is transcendent of the of the hyparxis of this of of the second which I understand to be the intellect intellecting intelligible then know thyself is a lang is is a language that would transcend that I'm glad you see it that way okay but then you're saying don't use the then know thyself is not the ideal way to talk about it. That was the conclusion. So we can't say that the know thyself is equivalent to the first hypothesis, which is oneself. That's what you did come to. Uh, no, I, I'm asking that. Uh, or I would, yeah, I would say, to, okay. See, the difficulty you're having is expressing what you think. And to help you with that, right, I can understand the first hypothesis, but I don't know whether it is true. Uh, or, uh, but, yeah, I can understand it, but what's that got no, to no, do no. with knowing There's no myself. lack of understanding. Right. I, I mean, I can There are many it. things you can understand that either can be true or not true. Oh. But what about knowing thyself? What's that got to do with the first hypothesis? Pardon me, you already answered it. Okay. Well, you why said did that you, was a uh, poor they, understanding, poor way of saying it. But the question is, the question on the table is whether or not in which the way I expressed it can express your predicament. That's the issue on the table. 
I said, you don't have any difficulty, you do not give any evidence of having any difficulty understanding the first hypothesis, you do not know whether it is true or not. That's not where I want to be. I, I don't mind that, but that's the result of the, the reflection that we have been going on and coming to that conclusion. Of course, you don't like the way that that what that does to you and the position that puts you into. That's right. Well, I don't know whether it puts that's me in right. any position, but it does. It it's something that is an exercise that I am engaged in. But when does the exercise become? part of me that I can see through or work through or uh, I, re I the process you're going confirm. through will bring you to see that his conclusions are understandable yes that's true I can see that that's that's what an argument is all right where do you validate it then? time to quit what do you think? Well, let's see what time it is. Thank you, David. Yeah, certainly, always. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Can no I borrow here for a second? Yeah. Yeah, there won't be a farm interviews tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. How come? Is there some? I got something going on. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Do you have time for a dream sometime? Not today, I have a talk. Okay. Tomorrow might be. Yeah. yeah. Or Monday, or got all night short. And for me, too. I can do it tomorrow, I don't as well. Yeah, okay. Do you, do you want to make oh, it? Wait a minute, I got a talk. Yeah. Oh, okay. Should I give you a call, or? Hmm? Should I give you a call? Or? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming by. Thanks, Pierre. Thank you. Ah, pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Fun? Fun? Okay. When you're ready. Okay.